Hi everyone, I am Kalyani, working as a lecturer in Sir CRR College for Women. Today I am going to discuss about Finfish culture, one of the paper in the fishery subject, semester 5. In the last class, I had discussed about major cultivable Indian carps, Katla and Sirhanus Brigala. Today in this session, I am going to discuss about the remaining one, Labio Rohita. Rohu, Labio Rohita. Labio Rohita is common in North India, Orissa, Bengal and is also called Rohu. So, Labia Rohita is a common species of North India, Orissa and Bengal. And in these regions, Labia Rohita is Rohu and Pilistar. But in Assam, it is known as Rohiti. Assam is Rohiti and Pilistar. The body is elongated. So, if you have a fish, the body is elongated. The body is elongated. So, the body is elongated. And the dorsal profile is more convex. So, if you have a fish, the dorsal profile is convex. And the concave is opposite. Concave is lopal. Cave is convex. So, it is convex in shape. And the color of the body is bluish. The color is bluish. And the body is bluish. And that is the A part and the above part. The pine is bluish. And flank regions and the side regions. These side regions are in silvery color. And the eyes are reddish. The eyes are reddish. And the fish is in juvenile stages. In the juvenile stage, it possesses dark bands in the caudal peduncle region. So, the fish is in juvenile stages. Then, the caudal peduncle region contains bands. Dark bands are present. And the fish is in juvenile stages. It has a reddish tinge at the dorsal peduncle. Pelvic, anal and caudal fins. So, here is a fish here. Dorsal fin, pelvic fins, anal fin, caudal fin. So, in these fins regions, it is having a reddish tinge and a reddish gown. And the distinguishing feature is that the lips are fringed and the maxillary barbels are present. So, if you have a fish in Labia Rohita, and you can see it in the same way, and the other fish is the main feature in India, and the other fish is the main feature in India, and the other fish is the lip is soft, it is fringed, fringed, and it is having maxillary barbels, maxillary barbels are present, so these are the Pair of barbels and AV maxillary region which arise a unit. So it is having a pair of maxillary barbels and the lip is fringed. Like other cypriniforms, it does not breed in stagnant waters. So Migilna cypriniforms laga, Migilna fishes laga, cypriniform fishes laga, Migilna carps laga, it is stagnant waters like the breeding jarup kodanta. And during breeding season, so breeding season is in the breeding season, the fish is in the water current to part to move out. Before breeding, moves along the current of water, water current to part to move out. And then take a turn, it is reversed through the water. And moves against the current of water. So water current is against the swim chest. And it breeds in shallow waters. And where do you breed in shallow waters? 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 It can successfully breed by induced methods. So, if a fish is used by induced breeding methods, it will be used by breeding. It grows fairly large in size, but in comparison to cutla cutla, the growth is less. If a fish is used by large size, it will grow. But it will not be used by cutla. Cutla is used by cutla, but it will not be used by cutla. The fish becomes sexually mature in one year. एक फिश ने दी मैच्युरेशन की एंटर टाइम पीरियड लाउस नंदा वन ईयर टाइम पीरियड ले फिश ने दी सेक्सुअल का मैच्युर होता है 
the fecundity on average ranges from 2 lakh to 3 lakh and then in the eggs ni release cheyagaledu okokka breeding time ki 2 lakhs nunchi 3 lakhs of eggs nadi release chestundi the fry and fingerling could be obtained from the breeding rounds so fry gaani fingerlings gaani manaki ekkada dorukuthay ante from the breeding grounds adu ekkada breeding jarukuntundi shallow waters lo breeding jarukuntundi so ekka breeding grounds nunchi mani oka fry and fingerlings ni catch cheyochu adult was sorry adult as well as fingerlings feed on vegetable debris daphnia and decomposed water material ante fingerlings adults rendu vegetable debris ante vegetable waste meeda daphnia this is zooplankton and decomposed water material paadipoyina water material meeda so it anniti meeda adi feed avutundi ee vaitanni ni food kinda teeskuntundi other species of labia could also be cultured but from the economic point of view labia rohita and labia calvasu are profitable so migilna species ni kuda labia species migilni evaithe unnayo vaatini kuda culture cheyochu kaani economic point of view ante income point of view lo chusukunnatlayite so labia rohita nu labia calvasu ganaka mana culture chesinatlayite manaki profits vasthay anta according to day 1889 India, Assam, Bangladesh and Burma regions lo idhi ki kanpisthundi en chepthundar. He also stated that Rohu is not found in South India. So South India lo yoka fish an edhi kanpinchadu en chepthundar. But ekkada kanpisthundan te yoka fish an edhi Sabarmati drainage regions lo and the rivers of Narmada, Tapati, Godavari, Mahanadi. So yoka four rivers lo kanpisthundi and Though it is more common in plains of North India, South India लगान पिछ्थु, कानि North Indian plains लो एक्कु common गाउंडे species अचेसी, लेबियो रोहिता. It is also distributed in other neighboring countries such as Bangladesh, Burma and Nepal. So, यहको species इंक एककड़ गान पिछ्थुन दन्टा, मने यहको neighboring countries एवेत्त उन्यो, Bangladesh, Burma and Nepal. So, वाटल लो कोड, आयको countries यहको rivers लो कोड, यहको Libya, Rohita, यहको distribution ने दी, उन्दी यहन चिप्तनारू. This is all about the Indian major carbs, Katla, Sirhanas, Mrigala and Libya, Rohita. Thank you.